Let's send this year off by making some beautiful flowers. Let's see how to do that. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom flower to Minecraft. Now, overall, a custom flower is actually fairly easy to implement. But there is like one little caveat that you will keep in have to keep in mind. And so in our mod blocks class, we're just going to copy over the test block. Because if we copy over the tomato block, then we're going to have no uh, actual block item. So that's very important. And this is going to be the orchid. So we're going to create an orchid here. And this is a new flower block. So actually fairly straightforward. Now it actually requires three different parameters. The first one is a mob effect, as you can see. So we're going to say mob effects dot and let's say, for example, blindness. And then the second parameter is the duration. So let's say two. Now what's very important here is that this is not in ticks. So don't put in like 200 or anything that would be a little too much. We can also see if we middle mouse button click on the flower block and then middle mouse button click once again, you can see that here are, for example, the you know definitions for the other flowers in this case. So you can see like blue orchid, we have some other stuff. So there's a few things in here already. Now, uh, this actually is almost all that we need. Now, in this case, we actually do not want the metal. Of course, that's ridiculous. We're actually just going to copy the dandelion. So we're just going to say blocks dot dandelion. There you go. And now everything here has been set. Now we need to go into our tutorial mod class and also set the proper render layer here. So this is just the orchid. There you go. And now only the JSON files remain. So let's see. So the block states JSON, of course, once again, going to copy everything over, but everything is available to you in the description below. GitHub repository or individual gists. And as you can see, this just points to a normal block model. So nothing too crazy. Let's first of all, actually add the translation here just so that we have it. So this is going to be the orchid. And then this is going to be the orchid as well. And then a block model JSON for the orchid as well. There you go. Now this is going to be a little bit different. So this has the cross pattern and it also has textures cross, but then just points to a normal texture. And what is very interesting here in the item model, we actually point to the block texture as well, because the texture that you have inside of your hand in the inventory is pretty much going to be the same as you have in the world. Just the, the actual model makes it so that the world so that the orchid looks uh, interesting in the world with this cross pattern. And then the actual texture in the inventory is just going to dis be displayed pretty much normally. Now that's actually all of the things that we need to add. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. As you can see, the orchid has been successfully added to the game and it does look kind of nice if I do say so myself. There you go. There you have it in the hand as well. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I would also wish you a happy New Year's Eve. And then let's continue with all of this in 2022. I'm very excited for the next year. I am certain that it's going to be actually really great for both the channel and modding it's in itself as well. So let's see what the next year brings. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.